डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड माई टीचर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार आई वेलकम यू टू द प्रेजेंटेशन लेक्चर ऑन एड्रीनल क्लैंड एनाटॉमी एंड हिस्टोलॉजी नाउ इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द लेक्चर एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन आई एम शोइंग यू वन फिगर एंड इन दिस फिगर यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द एडिनल ग्लैंड यू लोकेट वेयर एग्जैक्टली द एडिनल ग्लैंड इज प्रजेंट सो एक्चुअली दे हैव मेड द कट इन abdominal wall and they are uplifting the peritoneum and they are showing the adrenal gland so here the adrenal gland is shown okay this yellow color pyramidal shape adrenal gland then you can uh, read this names also the vein then the vena cava and the duodenum okay right kidney is shown okay so this view is c liver is shown okay abdominal exposure of right adrenal gland okay so in abdominal cavity they are showing us the right adrenal gland now in this figure this figure is abdominal exposure of left adrenal gland so left adrenal gland in the abdominal cavity they are showing us so here the left kidney is shown and on the top of the left kidney you can see the adrenal gland is present okay then see aorta then the name of the vein and artery so if you are interested you can read the names also so now we are starting this and one more figure before we start our lecture see over here both the kidneys are shown okay and right adrenal gland this one is the right adrenal gland then this one is the left adrenal gland okay then artery vein okay then inferior vena cava okay then once again inferior vena cava aorta is shown okay so the blood supply okay to the adrenal gland if you are interested you can understand with this figure now okay so adrenal gland now the objective of this lecture is to locate okay where the adrenal glands are present and histology means which type of cells that are present in the adrenal gland then the cells which type of cell and the cells which are present in adrenal gland they are secreting which hormones okay so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the location of adrenal gland and the histology of the adrenal gland various kind of cell and they uh, they produce which kind of hormone and uh, as far as the function of hormones are concerned so uh, we will discuss the function of hormone in next few lectures one or two lectures we will discuss <coughs> the function of the hormones of adrenal gland so today we are discussing the location and histology now adrenal glands are paired that means their number is 2 two adrenal glands are there and these adrenal glands are also known as supra renal glands and uh, both the adrenal gland they lie they are present superior to each kidney so on the top of the kidney the adrenal gland are present and they are present in the abdominal cavity in retro peritoneal space and the adrenal gland they are the flat one and they are pyramid shape so adrenal gland are as you can see in yellow color they are showing so they are flat and pyramidal shape so i am showing you this entire figure okay see location blood supply and histology of the adrenal glands Okay. Okay. Now, 
see in adult human being each adrenal gland is having a height of 3 to 5 cm the width of adrenal gland is 2 to 3 cm and the thickness is less than 1 cm and mass of adrenal gland 3.5 to 5 g and only half its size at birth so when the baby is born that time it is having half of all the measurement uh, which are given over here okay so the weight the mass of adrenal gland and the height and width and thickness is half in the newborn baby okay so now this is the third point we are discussing now see uh, during uh, embryonic development that means in mother's womb when the baby the pregnancy is going on that time the adrenal glands they differentiate into two structurally and functionally distinct region okay and these two region are one is the larger one okay the large region which are the peripheral region also okay so on the periphery this region large region is present and this region is known as adrenal cortex so this entire portion is the adrenal cortex okay and the inside portion inside region or the central region of adrenal gland is known as adrenal medulla so adrenal cortex is occupying 80 to 90 percent area of adrenal cortex that means adrenal medulla is having 20 to 10 percent area of adrenal gland is occupied by adrenal medulla now here in this figure the histological uh, slide is shown on the right hand side okay cortex medulla so you see uh, the various region okay so adrenal cortex okay and and adrenal medulla okay now on the top on the top you see the capsule is present and this capsule is made up of connective tissue so in the adrenal cortex zona glomerula glomerulosa cell okay and this gloma, uh, glomerulosa cell they secrete the hormone mineralocorticoids mainly the aldosterone then there is a region just beneath the zona glomerulosa zona fasciculata and this zona fasciculata secrete glucocorticoids mainly the cortisol then then after the zona fasciculata beneath the zona fasciculata zona reticularis and this zona reticularis secrete endogen then the central portion adrenal medulla so in adrenal medulla chromaffin cells are there then they secrete epinephrine and norepinephrine okay so division of adrenal gland Okay. This way. Now the fourth point. See, as we have already discussed this thing, that the outermost region, the entire adrenal gland, is covered by capsule of connective tissue. Okay. So this is the capsule, okay, and this capsule is made up of connective tissue. Now like the adrenal gland, uh, like the uh, thyroid gland, in adrenal gland, adrenal gland is also highly vascularized. Vascularized means so many blood vessels, arteries, veins and arterioles are present in adrenal gland. And here, uh, once again, we are looking at the historical slide so all the regions are visible okay capsule we can see then the zona glomerulosa then 
zona fasciculata okay and the cells they are zoom the cell okay zona fasciculata then zona reticularis and medulla okay here you see the medulla okay chromopin they are stain then human adrenal gland after administration of ACTH V is equal to venous capillary C capillary G ganglion cell okay so here G ganglion cell is present C C is the capillary okay V one is capillary okay now here uh, in this they are showing see adrenal gland is highly vascularized see the blood vessels okay you can see the artery vein arterial then the venule vein everything capillaries are shown okay and ho over here this is the adrenal gland of newborn right hand side okay now adrenal cortex okay adrenal cortex produces steroid hormones okay and this steroid hormones are essential for life they are vital for our survival okay this steroid hormone so here you can see the adrenal gland see outer zone outer zona glomerulosa okay so this outer zona glomerulosa they synthesize mineral or corticoid hormones mainly aldosterone okay then the middle zone zona fasciculata and the zona fasciculata they produce glucocorticoid hormone namely cortisol Okay, then we are having inner zona reticularis and this zona reticularis cell they produce male sex hormones androgen mainly dehydro epiandrosterone dhea and androstenedione so this was the fifth point now we are moving on the sixth point of our discussion see uh, complete loss of adenocortical hormones leads to death okay so if a person losses the adrenal cortical hormone or we can say if in person <coughs> body there is a scarcity of adrenocortical hormone the person is not able to secrete this adenocortical hormone so it will lead it will lead to the death of that person the reason is one reason is due to dehydration water will be lost and electrolyte imbalance so the ionic concentration is also going to suffer in the person's body who is not producing or who is having the loss of adenocortical hormones so the person is going to die in few days or a week so to prevent this uh, death of a person uh, that person should be administered by the hormone this replacement therapy so in this hormone replacement therapy the person is administered or person is given the doses of artificial or the synthetic adenocortical hormones in this case okay to save the life of patient then the seventh point see here in the seventh point the hormone of adrenal medulla so adrenal medulla produces three catecholamine hormones and these hormones are norepinephrine epinephrine and small amount of dopamine okay
now uh, i would like to show you some of the histological slide okay see this is the histological slide here you see adrenal or the supra renal gland stain with hematoxylin and eosin and we are observing under low magnification Capsule is shown, then the cells in zona, glomerular capillary is shown over here. Okay. Then blood vessel in connective tissue. Okay. Tubercula. Zona fasciolata. Then cells in zona fasciolata. Capillaries are shown. Okay. cells in zona reticularis then the neurons are shown okay. secretory cells of medulla are shown okay. then in this slide okay. adrenal Suprarenal gland, cortex and medulla are shown and stained with hematoxylin and eosin. Okay. Capsule, zona glomerulosa, zona fasciolata, then zona reticularis, medulla, blood vessels are shown. Then once again, in this figure, see photomicrograph of the adrenal gland. Okay. So cortex is shown, medulla you see. Then the central adenomedullary vein cortex, okay. Then once again medulla, then suprarenal vein is shown. This figure photomicrograph of the adrenal gland, and this figure, okay. Adrenal gland is shown, kidney is shown, artery and vein, okay. So topography and blood supply of the adrenal suprarenal gland. And in this we have location and blood supply of the adrenal gland. Okay. And then in this figure, okay, see clearly. Cortex, medulla, same thing, you know. Okay, adrenal cortex, all the cell. This, this is the key. Okay. So with this we have completed this presentation lecture on adrenal gland anatomy and histology. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation lecture and I also hope that this presentation lecture will be helpful in your exam preparation and also in your studies. My name is Manish Koshti sir. I am from Ahmedabad, India. Bye bye. Namaste.